This is something I just bought recently. It's a ultra cheap vernier caliper and it costs like under six dollars but for most of what I do it's really fast and convenient. Um, I've got a, a vernier caliper I'll show you underneath here uh, do a comparison a quick comparison but this will do inches and millimeters uh, it's got an on off switch and a zero and that's about it. Uh, you just punch it on and zero it out. It's zeroed out right now and you just move it back and forth. Um, I've been playing with it. It's not as accurate as my other one but it's accurate to one decimal place which for most of the things I do is pretty good and since I need stuff done more quickly than accurately, so I'm not working on anything for NASA, I'm uh, just doing stuff around the house. This is very good. Let's look at the back side of it, see what it says. Carbon fiber composites, digital caliper, resolution 0.1 millimeters. Yeah, that's fine. And then a battery listed on the battery. Okay. And I guess we should take a look at the scale. It goes out to 150 millimeters or 15 centimeters. Not great, but again, for most of what I do around the house, more than adequate. Now let's take a look at the, this is the box for it. Let's take a look at my old one. You can see I bought it over in China a long time ago. And this one costs somewhere of around $30, a little bit less than if I recall. I've had it quite a while. And it's just, you know, your standard vernier caliper. And with this one, of course, you know, you know how to read a vernier caliper, but, um, you know, you start out here, and I always have to look up how to do it, but say it's, you know, two point something, and then you have to follow the bottom scale along until you find a good match. Now this one is good to two or three decimal places, so when I'm really doing something precise, I pull this thing out. But if I'm just horsing around, this is totally adequate and for six bucks if I drop it, step on it, whatever, um, you know, it's gone and fine, I can get another one. But you drop this one, step on it, whatever, and it's pretty much gone, it's history because you bend those metal and it won't slide and you know, it's, it's done. Let's go over the pluses and minuses quickly. The pluses are that it has both inches and millimeters, you can switch easily, it has an on off switch. It has a zero setting. It goes out to 15 centimeters, which is kind of a plus and a minus. Um, it's very fast and easy to use, and it's very cheap. The minuses are that when I got this, these edges up here, and they're still not perfect, were not, had a little bit of flashing to them, so they're not perfect. And, of course, they're plastic, so they're going to wear faster, and, uh, you know, you'll probably get erroneous readings after a while, but, again, you know, the money's not much. They... This case extends out over the end, so if you want to see uh, the index mark itself, you have to look underneath the casing. Apparently when they redesigned something, they extended this casing and it got in the way. Let's see, what else? Um, there's no lock on it. It has these fake locks, and so you can't really lock the setting. If you bump it, it's, you know, it changes. And it only goes out to 15 millimeters, which you know, isn't a lot, but It'd be better if it went out a little bit farther like my other one, but yeah. So, okay, well, let's measure something and take a look and see how well it works. We'll start out by measuring this screwdriver. And call it 3.2 millimeters. Let's look at the vernier. Let's see if I can get a close-up on this. So before we had 3.2, and if we look here, we have 3, but out here, uh, more like 3.3 or 3.25, um, something like that. So yeah, I get a little bit more accuracy with this one. But again, you know, not too bad if most of the time I'm, you know, drilling a hole or measuring something like a little fan in my current project. I'm measuring a fan because I'm making a cooler. So I just need to measure the dimensions of something like that. And, you know, you're not going to, you don't need it down to a thousandth of a millimeter. So that's it. Uh, 
nice, convenient, cheap. You break it, you throw it away, you don't have to worry about it, buy a new one. Okay, well that was it for today. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your home DIY projects.